All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are looking at Dimension Barrier, which is pretty much the new hype side card that everybody will be siding three of. I mean, it's just that good. It, it just is really that good. So Dimension Barrier is a normal trap card that reads, Declare one monster type. Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, Xe, Pendulum. This turn, neither player can special summon monsters of that declared type. Also, negate the effects of face-up monsters on the field of the declared type while they are on the field. You can only activate one dimension barrier per turn. So, it's a side deck card for everyone who fucks up everyone. It, it's interesting. So, uh, I, can, I can definitely see people just side decking triple of these, putting them in, and then just stunning the living shit out of each other. So... It's interesting on how it might be more powerful on some particular plays than others because, of course, you stop, I mean, pretty much all five summonings, but two out of the five are more not inherent summons, which means that you might be able to even out on this, while the other three are kind of like, hey, you can stop it, you can stun them, but you're going to take an egg. So, you know, uh, you know, for example, if you go ahead and activate a ritual spell, yeah, I can go ahead and chain and be like, ritual, and then... The ritual spell just trip, uh, I mean, just fizzles. Same thing with fusion. You activate poly, I can just blow up this card. Fusion. There it goes. Fizzles. You can't summon any fusion monsters. Can't create fusion monsters in effect. They are already currently on the field this turn. Well, Synchros, Xyz, and Pendulums, those are inherent summons, you know? It's not like I can really be like, all right, well, before you, you know, kind of Synchro, Xyz summons, like, no, as soon as they got the, the correct uh, cards on the field or correct monsters on the field, they can just go ahead and do it without you being able to respond. And while sure, you can go ahead and they'll be like, all right, well, you know, I have these two out fours, XC in the Castell, Castell effect, detach your costs, chain dimension barrier, XC, there you go, that's pretty good. But, you know, for pendulums, it'd just be like, pendulum scale, activate one pendulum scale, response, activate two pendulum scales. With, on the activation of your, of your second pendulum scale, dimension barrier, pendulum. That way they cannot pendulum summon, and then all their pendulum monsters' effects are negated as well. And it's cool for your, you know, your pendulum monsters. For example, if your opponent would go ahead and go summon Skull Crabat Joker, you can just go Dimension Barrier, call Pendulum. His effect is negated, so it's kind of like a like a breakthrough scale too. A very very powerful card, it really is. And I could you know definitely see people just citing triple of this just to stun your opponent, even taking the neg. You know, there's been times and times again when you're doing just a pendulum based deck, they're on the defensive, you're killing their monsters, they go back to the pendulum monsters go back to the extra deck just to be pendulum summon right back again for more defense. You know, if you could just get that one turn of them not being able to pendulum summon, you could end the duel. Just go ahead, dimension barrier, pendulum, no more pendulum, no pendulum summoning for your turn. And I, I like how they say neither player can special summon monsters of declared type, as if you're going to activate this during like your turn and stun yourself. Like, no, 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 I'm gonna activate it during my opponent's turn and they're gonna get stunned by whether it be Richard. Fusion, Synchro, XC, or Pendulum. It's interesting that it gets all five of them. You know, it's like, it's like, Ritual, like, really, who does Rituals? Like, I think this would be pretty great in Necro's format back in uh, Dual Sun. I, I mean, I mean, this card could be pretty much great in almost every format, but maybe back in the Dual Sun format, that'd be pretty interesting, you know? And Pendulum would be, activate, like, one of their Necro's mirrors and just be like, no, Dimension Barrier, Rituals. Nope, there goes that mirror, and you didn't Ritual Summon. That'd be great, you know? Your opponent activates Shadal Fusion, you have extra x you'll be like, nah, Dimension Barrier, Fusion, nah, let that Shadal Fusion go. You don't need it. You're not Fusion from the deck. Freaking, <laughs> you know, Yang Zing, because they, they're all nice and set up with their Yang Zing monsters, and you can just be like, nah, nah, nah. How about you don't synchro? Or even when they actually do synchro and actually summon that Baxia, activate the Baxia effect to spin a whole bunch of your shit. You just be like, nah, no, it's Let me go ahead and say no to your freaking uh, Baxia, your effect. That's uh, that's great too, you know. Uh, tellers, that'd be interesting. They go ahead and, you know, do the Vega, Altair, Air, Deneb, do all of that. And just so you to just flip up this, say, XC, and they can't even go into the Triv to recycle their plays. Then you just proceed to kill their ne their monsters next turn. Like, that'd be pretty great. And, of course, Pendulum, you know, whether it be negating, you know, Skull Crabat Joker, Monkey Board, Luster. I mean, there's just so many things that you want to go ahead and stop. So when it comes to that, that's great, too. I mean, for goodness sakes, even Cleese, you can go ahead and flip this up on Call Pendulum, and that Scout won't get that search. He won't pay that 800, put its helmet on, on you. So that that's great too. It's just it's just so versatile that they made a card like this where it pretty much just says, "Fuck everybody, but fuck you too," because you know your punk's gonna side in. Because yeah, this this card's really great. It's gonna get triple sided in, and it's it's amazing that they made a card this powerful that not only is in the gate the the summon that your opponent can't summon that way, but also the monsters on the field of that type are negated as well. So that's just that's just so powerful. Yep. So I can definitely see. Everybody, everybody, and this card comes out citing triple of that, because just, I mean, it says fuck you to everybody, and, you know, 
What better side card than you give than just saying fuck you to everybody, right? <laughs> so, tell me what you guys think about Dimension Barrier in the comment section below. And tell me, are you guys going to start triple this? Because, you know, I know I sure would. Because the potentials are endless. I mean, right now it's not the greatest because, you know, we're not dealing too much when it comes to extra deck summons. I mean, out of the four best decks, two of them are kind of like, eh, you know. I mean, I guess extra deck monarchs, but, you know. It's still more monarch play, so I mean, really, what is Dimension Barrier doing against that? So, you know, Cosmos, yeah, they can they can do some extra plays. It's nice to have a toolbox, but you know, Dimension Barrier ain't gonna save your ass from getting OTK'd by Cosmos. So that's it. You know, PK, PK, that'd be that'd be great. You know, go ahead and just stun the XC, stop the Dante from being summoned because you know they're gonna special summon that uh that uh that Terra Top Taka Tomborg. You know, go into that Dante. Uh, you know, Car Trooper Mill 3 without even using their uh, normal summon yet. You can just go ahead and stun that. You can just be like, nah, nah. You know, maybe you don't even allow them to go into the Dante. Then, well, I guess Dante Mills for the cost, so don't allow them to do that because then you'd only be blocking the increased attack when really it's what the mill I want. So, pretty much when they bust out those two threes on the resolution of the special summon of the Taka Tombor, clip this up, be like, XEs, they can't go into their Dante. And you know, might notice with PK Fire, they kind of slow down. They kind of need to get that ball rolling with the mill, get their graveyard set up. They're kind of like Dragon, really. Once they once they get that second hand in the graveyard, they can you know definitely outpace you, out resource you, and kick your butt. So if you can stop them from doing that, that's pretty good, you know. And of course, Draco Pals, you know, anything where you can just go ahead and flip a card and call Pendulum. They can't Pendulum summon like that. That's just great. They can't Pendulum summon and can activate Pendulum effect uh, monsters on the field. So that that's that's great too. So well, I guess I guess I'm wrong when it comes to that, negate the face-up effects of monsters on the field of the clear type. So, if it says face-up monsters, then the pendulum scales, they don't count. So, I guess you could still activate the pendulum scale effect. So, um, yeah, that'd be nice if that was cool, you know. Have to, you know, negate, like, you know, Lizard Draw, or Guitar Toto, or Scout, or Monkey Board, but... No, I don't think you could do that, but I guess you could negate the monster's effects on the field. So, you know, you could negate, like, that Skull Crabat Joker, so... Or that Sorcerer, so that's nice. But, yeah, so... That seems like it's a little bit light up on pendulums, because of course pendulums are their own weird thing, where they're on their own weird zone and their own weird monster spell thing, but yeah, but it's still pretty powerful just to be able to flip this card and be like, you know, no pendulum summon this turn. How, how, how does that sound? Because pendulum mechanic is crazy. Okay, so yeah, tell me if you guys are going to go ahead and side triple these in your side deck, and um... Yeah, that's it for card reviews. So, of course, I will be back next week with some more cards to look at. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And, uh, yeah, see you guys next time.